What is up, survivors? We're back with another taming video. This is going to be a dangerous one. It's one of the most elusive, vicious animals on the Ark universe. Stories of the brutality of this animal spread across every Ark map like wildfire. That's actually incorrect, and it's a bunch of lies because we're going to talk about how to tame the Obus. So, taming the Obus, the sheep. See these guys wandering around in the Highlands areas on Ragnarok. You see them around a lot of different maps up in mountainy areas too. Usually being terrorized by whatever other animals like to terrorize, terrorize the Ovis because they pretty much don't put up any fight whatsoever. I mean, probably a dodo. It could probably take a dodo on. I don't know about much else after that. But anyway, the Ovis actually have a whole lot of really cool abilities and we're going to talk about their uses and what you need to tame them and all that good stuff. So... There's, fail, there's a male and female Ovis. You'll notice the males actually have the little horns. It doesn't particularly matter if you're taming these guys which one you have unless you want the um, mate boost or if you're trying to breed them, obviously. But they are mammalian. You can breed them like normal. Yeah, um, you can ride these guys without a saddle, but truth be told, their weight's not that great. And if you're carrying any more than you and five rocks in your pocket, it's probably not going to be able to carry you very well. Um, they do have a cool little jump ability, and they're actually fairly good at scaling objects, you know, like up vertical objects. It's kind of like the scorpion in that regards, where they're really good at kind of climbing up objects. So try to get you out of a pinch or up a mountain, I guess. I guess it's actually kind of useful. I'm kind of surprised at just how easily these guys get up really big inclines. A lot of people, a lot of players will just definitely kill the Ovis for the raw mutton. If you kill them, you get raw mutton. Raw mutton is one of the highest sought after meat as far as taming your creatures. And some animals actually like the cooked lamb chop that you can use as well, depending on what you're using it for. So this, all in all, usually means that people just go out and take these guys out. But that's not necessarily the thing that you always want to do. Having a male and female one of these means that you can breed them, which means essentially you can have an unlimited supply of mutton and a few other things that we're going to talk about. They'll give you a hide resource as well. Um, if you slaughter them, you have the option to slaughter the animals as well. Um, if you want to go that route, which seems kind of vicious but you totally can you can also use something crazy like a chainsaw to harvest the bodies and get a copious amounts of uh pelt and hide a little bit of hide and uh, raw mutton as well so you can use that as an option as well i would highly suggest if you're going to keep these guys to level their food stat we're going to talk about why the food stat on these guys and this is a level 110 and as you can see the stats aren't that crazy on it but the food stat is actually kind of important with these guys you're not really going to be using them as a pack animal or to fight things or to carry stuff for like that's really not the purpose of these guys the sole purpose of these guys is to provide you mutton and then also wool that can be used as pelt so you actually can take a pair of scissors here and shear the the ovis you notice the hair shortens up and all that good stuff and if we pop open our inventory we actually have wool in our inventory so um the longer you go when you before you you'll see the wool on the sheep get longer and longer and longer You'll use the scissors, cut it, and get more wool out of it. Instead of just one, you get a lot more. The interesting parts of this is if you level up its food stat, it generates the wool quicker. So you'll be able to shear it more often. So having a couple of these and then leveling up their food and shearing them provides you with plenty of wool and pelt for all your fur armor and all that good stuff as well. Um, things like bugger pellet and all that good stuff too. Uh, the other thing that you can do, and we're just going to give ourselves a pick real quick just so I can show you what's going on. Uh, pick and then we're gonna put it over here so if i have a pick equipped and i go up to set opus and i open up its inventory i have the option to slaughter so you can just straight up slaughter these animals so if you have uh they're like a farming animal if you have a multitude of these and you're breeding them and you have a bunch of them you can hit the slaughter option kill them off and then harvest the body so you can harvest them get a little bit of hide get some fur um, and then also obviously get the raw mutton as well this stat, what you, the, the stuff that you resource off of it after that point really depends on what the health stat is. So I would say if you're breeding them and using them for different things, spend their level stats differently. So if you're using them just to shear wool off of them, go off the food stat, keep leveling that up. If you're going off of them to harvest more things from them after you slaughter them, don't boost the health stat up as high as you can before you do that as well. Um, now, obviously it helps to use something like a chainsaw. That's definitely gonna help you out more so in that endeavor so that you'll be able to harvest copious amounts of this stuff. Um, they're super useful. Um, if you can get two, two, a male and a female Ovis and breed them, the direct access to raw mutton pretty much all the time is pretty fantastic. And then when you get really high level blueprints for your fur armor and the like, you'll be able to make a lot of that stuff so you don't have to worry about it. Taming these guys uh, can be slightly tricky, mainly because of the environment they're usually in and everything else that's around. So you want to be careful of that. But we're going to show you how to tame them right now. 
All right, so two things I would advise having to, well, one's mandatory, the other one's optional, but for taming an Ovis, what you're gonna want to have is sweet veggie cake. Sweet veggie cake can be a little bit to make. You're gonna need bee honey sap, a bunch of different vegetables, stimulant, fiber, mash it all together in either a cooking pot or an indie cooker to make these things. So it's not gonna be easy to make the veggie cake, but it's the only way to tame an Ovis. So you're gonna need sweet veggie cakes in order to do that. And then I would highly advise having a cryopod. Now, this is me doing it on foot. If you are if you have a flying mount that can pick up an Ovis, which is pretty easy to get at that point, I would say just make sure you get a flyer handy to pick this guy up and leave. Ovis do not pose any sort of physical threat to anyone, um, so you probably don't want to be out here with it when all the big nasty stuff come out. So we're out here on the Ragnarok map over here in the Highlands area. And again, I have the Sweet Veggie Cake set on my last toolbar and then a cryopod just here with me so that I can pick it up if I need to get out of town real quick. Cool thing about Ovis is that you're only ever gonna need one veggie cake to tame them with and then after that, they'll just eat berries afterwards. So you just need one veggie cake. As soon as you get close, you'll have the option to feed it. You can feed it, it's yours, that's it. Quick and easy, quick and easy tame. Then we cryopod it like such. And then we make sure nothing's here that's going to eat us. And then we run away like cowards. But that is it, guys. That's how you tame an Ovis. That's how you tame it. Whether it's shaking its head no or not, that's how you tame it. That's how you tame the Ovis. It's a pretty simple tame, but it is a pretty useful creature. Um, I think a lot of times we slaughter these guys to get the raw mutton, and we don't stop to think about exactly how good of a farm animal they are to have around. Um, access to a lot of the resources that they get are crucial for a lot of different reasons. And they're really, uh, they're small, so they don't take up a lot of space and they're easy to tame once you can get your hands on that veggie cake. Veggie cake is the hardest part, but once you get there, you can tame these guys and they'll work wonders for you. But that's it. That's how to tame the Obus. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thumbs up for the Obus. Look at that face. How could you not give a thumbs up for that face? Later, guys.